move on to topic number five moving right along and i'm super duper excited about this and it looks like guys we have a a new date for justice league the snyder cut looks like it's going to be coming out on hbo max march the 18th of 2021 and i am super super duper excited about this larry i'm gonna go to you first but i have the report right here from variety it says justice league snyder cuts premiere in march on hbo max the Snyder Cut finally has a release date. Director Zack Snyder's new version of the 2017 DC's comic superhero film Justice League will premiere on HBO Max on March 18th. Warner Media announced on Friday. Justice League brought together all these heroes, as y'all know, of course, Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, The Flash, Ray Fisher, all that good stuff. You know, in 2017, you know, comic book fans, everybody wasn't really feeling it. You know, Snyder had to leave because, you know, unfortunately he had a, a death in the family. But many viewers noticed a tonal shift between the directors and called for the release of the rumored Snyder Cut, a version of the film with Snyder's original vision. The Snyder Cut took on nearly mythical status with rumors of its existence being shared across social media. Warner Brothers finally confirmed that it was real in May 2020, announced that it was coming to HBO Max sometime in 2021. But now, guys, we have a full release date. And we have these posters right here that was uh, that was released too. I mean, these posters look great, and, and, and I, I'm I'm excited about all this. But Larry, what do you think about this uh, Snyder Cut being released in March? I didn't think we was gonna get it this early. Are you excited? Do you not care? Did you like the first Justice League? Did you not like it? The floor is yours, sir. The floor is yours, sir. Go ahead. Yeah, man, I'm I'm excited for it. The first Justice League was just okay. It was just. It was okay, but I, I'll tell you the thing. When I, I, it's so funny to me thinking about all this. Is like, how bad must Josh Whedon feel? Like, <laughs> I mean, like people were like, boo right now, Ray and Fisher. like, huh? He got his own problems now after Ray Fisher. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. know that. And people are like, you know, someone's basically like, oh yeah, I'm gonna recut your movie. Well, he kind of came in on it, but I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to this one. Um, I feel bad for what's his name for Ray. I mean, I don't feel bad for him, but I do feel bad for him for Ray Fisher. But part of me is like, man, don't let these people run you up out of Hollywood. Don't let them run you up out of your out of your money because they said they wrote him out of the of the Flash standalone movie. And I'm like, that's because he wanted that though. He he didn't I know, work I know, under. But part uh, like, don't let those people run you out of your thing. I mean, you got this work with them though. So yeah. what? He he didn't want to work with uh, Walter Hamada. Uh, right. Yeah. And I was, so about to bring, I was about to bring it up. And just real quick, guys, we got about 70 people in the chat right now. If I can get 70 likes, that would be great. 70 thumbs up. Go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Uh, go ahead, E-Man. Oh, uh, I was just saying that he didn't want to uh, work under Walter Hamada, who's like the head of uh, this guy. WB. Yeah, so um, it, it's not. It, it was more of a mutual parting than anything yeah. else. Like He's like, man, screw y'all. And they was like, okay, bye. You know, now, anyway, now, Larry, go ahead, finish your thought. I didn't want to. No, I just, you know, I, I, I guess I just sometimes I, I don't, I hate, I mean, I sometimes you have to take a stand and just dip out. I get that as, as a person of color, as women, whoever, when you, when you deal with, with, with people who don't respect you as a, as a human being, you have to just dip out sometimes. Sometimes I just don't like seeing brothers considering how difficult it is to get into some of these positions. I just hate to see brothers dip out because of that. And, but you know, I mean, I, I, I honestly, I really hope that this that this Snyder cut is the best. He's holding up the Justice League. I'm hoping that it's fantastic, because I mean, the first one was just okay. So, I, and, and and a lot of DC movies, a lot of DC live action movies have just been okay. So, I'm hoping this one's fantastic. Larry, do you know why it was just okay or sucked? Do you know why? Do you know whose fault it was? It was Probably this guy right movies. here. Kevin Sushahara. It was this guy's fault right here. Yes, here's another picture of him with Zack Snyder. This idiot, in my opinion, he's no longer with Warner Brothers. Okay. Uh, DC, because he wanted to rush the, so, you know, Zack Snyder had to leave because he had a family emergency. And so this genius, because he wanted his bonus, it said, screw it, you know, I want my bonus to come out, so I'm gonna go ahead and force this movie to come out in December of that year just so mm -hmm. I can get my bonus. And he had a two hour mandate on the film. Like, hey, mm -hmm. the, the film cannot be over two hours long. So it can run yeah. more in theaters. Right, exactly. Uh -huh. Right, so it's this it's this jerk face right here's fault that the wow. first league sucked. And he, he is no longer, he's no longer with them anymore. 
Uh, but now, like uh, uh, email was saying, we have Walter Hamada here, uh, who has come and kind of have saved the day, in my opinion. Uh, Ray yeah. Fisher, don't, Ray, Ray Fisher don't like him, but uh, I think he's pretty cool so far. Did he? <laughs> yeah, they said what? Did he? Did any he? any response before Aquaman? The Aquaman success? Oh, was that a success? Yeah, what? <laughs> Man, the man on Aquaman and made a billion dollars, and it was—it's my—it's one of my favorite DC movies. What? Know? Yes. What? That movie is—I love it, man. I had a problem. I had a couple of issues with the first oh. time I in theaters, man. But it's one of my favorites right now, man. Come on, it's man. One of my favorites right there, man. But they you know, had Jason Momoa running around with some linen pants on for half the movie. They couldn't hey, get his Aquaman joint sooner. Don't don't hate, man. Don't don't man, hate. That's don't hate and i, I want to see dark I'd side rather watch i'd rather watch jason momoa's youtube channel talking about his his red komodo camera and, and his and buying lisa bonet her her old first car and i'd rather watch all that than aquaman so are you i gonna, did not are, like that movie like that it was okay larry are you going to go to the theater to see this or are you going to uh stay at the crib hell to the no you probably won't see me in a theater until 2025. <laughs> you know really I'm not okay. going to a movie theater until they actually have a cure for the coronavirus. I'm not talking about a vaccine. I want to know that if you test positive, they give you a shot and cures that crap. Because I'm not, nah, I'm not doing it. People are irresponsible. You won't see me in a theater. And I say that now until I tweet from being in a movie theater about a year or two. <laughs> <laughs> amen, amen. Yeah. Are you gonna, I know, I know you big, I know you looking forward to this. Are you going to, you're going to pull you out that? that? Who told you? Know? I don't care about this movie. What? I don't care about this movie. <laughs> what? I just, I just assumed. Oh I don't know why. God. I don't know why. I don't care about no Justice League. Justice League, look, Justice League was like mediocre to below. Okay, and we're talking about like the best that they had. And when I talk about mediocre, I'm talking about the extended cut. The theatrical cut was garbage. Okay, oh. not garbage, garbage, garbage. It was terrible. Uh, wait Stop a minute, playing. Bro. Stop playing. Uh, dude, you don't have enough that. time. No. Bro, bro, we don't have enough time for me to dismantle why it was so bad. Let me just give you the quick uh, high we, level. We, 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 we're talking about the we're talking about the new one. It's gonna be four hours. Bro, I don't care. And you know why? Because Zack Snyder's in charge of it. Zack Snyder has uh. shown me his ability. Zack Snyder is phenomenal when it comes to visuals. He is terrible when it comes to big story concepts that he's very excited mm. about. Why? Because he wants to do too much too fast. Right. And it's exactly what he did in Justice League. And it's one of the biggest reasons why I can't trust him. This man wasted a bona fide Man of Steel plot point by killing Superman in Justice League. You took the most <laughs> successful story in comic book history to sit here and waste it in five minutes and you didn't even make it like unpredictable. Like the stuff... Everybody knew he was coming back like five seconds later. It was like I don't know about the that's most irresponsible story in comic I'm just book saying history. it was for the at the time. At the time right. it made the news. I had yeah. never heard a comic book story plotline making regular day news at that time. And all I'm saying is this man cannot be trusted with huge properties because they wanted him to be Joss Whedon of Avengers 2012. They was like, here go the keys to the kingdom. And he was just like, and he couldn't find the lock or the key. He just bumbled it off. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, the fact that this man has a four our movie proves that he cannot stay focused. There's too much stuff that he wants to show. There's too much stuff he wants to do. And he don't know how to control himself. I respect what he does because he's a fan. And I love that about him. But the problem is the fact that Zack Snyder is the perfect candidate to be a co-director on properties. He's not somebody that you want to just take care of everything. You want him to be there for the action. You want him to be there for some of the themes. You want him to be there for the visuals, no doubt. But when it comes to like the story, this man is not meant for this. It's just not his lane. It's. Oh. I'm not trying to hate on him. I'm just trying to say he's trying to be LeBron James and he's like the seventh man off the bench. That's yeah. not his role. That's I'm not going to say, I'm like not going to say that a four-hour like, movie means he can't be focused. There are some stories that need bro. to be told over a longer period of time. And some movies, so they this break Justice them up. Is, that's some it? Movie. Because the animated stories will tell you differently. 
the animated well, ones will tell you that they could tell yeah. a story in an hour and a half and they'd be even better than the live action so i can't well, really buy that well i'm glad i did not dm you today because i was i'm glad i got this my reaction to this on, on live I just knew you was excited about this. Bro, I, I, no. I was going to say, hey, bro. Yeah. I, I, I was going to say, hey, no. man, March 18th, I'm thinking about uh, calling off work that day, putting on vacation so I can do a live review for this. You look, know what I'm saying? Look, let me tell you something. Know, if you give like, Zack yeah. Snyder something like a small, straightforward thing, like what he did in Watchmen, I think he knocked it out the park because they didn't give him a lot of wiggle room. It was just like, yeah, do this crazy. story. That's no, it. not Watchmen. No, no I, Watchmen was good. Watchmen was cool. I, I was thinking um, you said. Uh, I thought I was thinking you said the other movie with the women. Oh uh, no, no, no! I know what you're talking about. Yeah. No, not that. But yeah. I'm saying if you give Zack Snyder something like 